up, friends? This is Jazz, bringing you another for better or for worse vlog. I apologize if it's, if it's a day or two late. Yeah, a lot has been going on, you know, for my mental health and that. So, I'm not going to go too far into it. The first strip of this vlog is from July 12, 1987. And... Ellie is really mad at Michael. He's like, I said I wanted this mess cleaned, and I said I wanted it done now. Mm, I think I have it pretty easy there, actually. And Michael's like, jeez. And then Ellie's like, there it is. I saw it. There's that look again. And he's like, oh, brother. He's thinking, oh, brother. She's like, don't you roll your eyes up at me. What did I do? What did I do? She's like... I can't even look at something. She said, you know what I mean. It's the way you looked. She's like, I say something and you roll your eyes up as if you're listening to a load of horse buns. And Michael's like a good grief with his eyes, like doing that thing again. And, and Ellie has a body collar. He's like, I'm sorry, I can't help help it. It's an unconscious reaction to negative stimulus. And oh, then Ellie's doing it. Ellie's doing the, the eye thing. Like, I, I just, just realized that. Like, that, that is a thought, though. I mean, we don't often know the facial expressions that we make half the time. I mean, obviously, sometimes if you find something funny, you might know you're smiling or whatever. Or if you're really sad, like, I don't know if you would have a frown. But sometimes you unconsciously make, like, uh, facial movements, you know, or gestures, like what Michael did with his eyes going up, that you, in your head you don't really realize you're do doing, but other people see it and react negatively or positively or whatever the reaction is. And, like, sometimes I, when I go downstairs, my aunt will say, well, what's wrong with you or something? And there's absolutely nothing wrong. And I don't know why my face just goes a certain, like, way. But for me, that that's just, it's kind of different than Michael's situation, though. Because, obviously, when his eyes are going up, as he even explained, that's his natural reaction to, to you know, negative stimulus. So he knew something was wrong. So he knew, in a sense, why he did it. Right? With me, half the time, it's literally just a real unconscious, you know, behavior. So, I mean, I can't completely relate to Michael here. In a sense of the word, it is counted as being a smartass. But I think, in a sense, like, I can go both ways. I could see Michael being a smartass here. But I can also see in some ways some of this like eye movement and that isn't all in his control. I mean, it's somewhat in his control, but it's it it cap does seem to happen naturally. So also, I do think Ellie is going on quite strong here too. Like, I mean, as we've learned though, Michael can be a pain in the ass. So I can see how she can be a little bit you know, a little bit harsher. But she's not, like, being a little bit harsher. She's almost downright, almost hollering. And, honestly, I mean, I am not a parent. And I, as I said, I cannot give advice. And, guys, those of you who have kids, I'm not doubting your parenting. Do what works for you. But, just out of some experience not complete personal experience a little bit. When I say personal experience, I mean not that I have a kid, I mean of my own, of my own self. That sometimes real bad reactions just make things worse. Like negative reactions. And I'm not saying if someone draws on the wall or someone shoplifts or, you know, something, you shouldn't go like, oh, well, oh, well, that, that was a wrong thing to do and, like, leave it at that. If someone does something very severe, okay, maybe this drawing on the wall thing, and if it's in your own house, it isn't as, you know, it's bad, but it's not as severe. But if someone did something like shoplift, and of course there should be consequences. They should just, when I say negative, I mean overly negative, like what Ellie was doing. Of course she should teach Michael 
Like, if he's not listening, like, there should be consequences, and he should respect her. But she, if her going and hollering and everything is just making it, you know, worse, I think, because his reactions are the way it shows his reactions. Like, if she was maybe a little more calm about it and rational about it, then maybe he might take her more seriously. But I think in some ways, Michael likes her reactions. It's even been proven a few times she liked when she, when she goes nuts like that. So, okay, maybe maybe in Michael's case, anyway, she shouldn't be showing that type of reaction. Because it just does not seem to permanently work on him. I mean, that that's just the way I see it, though. The final strip, or strips, is from... October 12th, 1988, but it but it had a new one, a new version of it on October 11th, 2017, so within three years ago. And this one is a little confusing because, like, I've read it a few times and it's hard to completely, like, I'll just explain it after I read it. Here's one of... Liz's friends, I don't know, well, you know, classmates, which I don't know as well, I, don't, I can't remember how much it was brought up in the strip his name, but he's like, last one outside is a scuzzbud, and then it shows all the students, like, running out, because obviously they don't want to be a scuzzbuzz, and then the guy's like, ha, you're the last, you're the last Elizabeth, scuzzbuzz, scuzzbuzz, guess who's a scuzzbuzz, and then, and then, Elizabeth's like, why do smart answers always come two days after you need them? Now, that, guys, that is what I am confused about. Like, the thing is, what is confusing about this, you know, this thing, is that I don't get where that, why that response, like, why she used that response. Right? All it was is, like, like, Elizabeth was the last one out, and she was the one called the Scuzzbuzz. But, I don't, what I'm confused about is, is that, why does she say, come two days after you need them? Right? So, is this last panel taking place literally two days after this student made fun of her? Or, was she the last out? Because, like, she got in trouble, or or she didn't answer a question right, so she had to stay, and then she was discussed. Like, I really... Can someone explain this to me? I, I'm so confused. Because she said, why do smart answers come two days after you need them? And if she was in this situation now, if that's what she was thinking while he was being made fun of, then really... How is it two days after? Unless it looks like she's in a different setting, you know, in this last panel than she was in the third panel. It looked like she was just getting out of her classroom or school because she was the last one that out. So, I mean... I'm sorry, guys, if this isn't, like, if I'm not as clear on this one, but, but I really don't understand the punchline here. Just because, just the words, because it said, just, it was just the timing, like, the amount of days she said. If she said, if she, if the, if the punchline was changed to why do smart answers always come, like, after you need them, or too late, then maybe it would make more sense, like, she didn't answer, you know, right away, but... Two days after you need them. That that is what sticks me there. But what can I say about this strip though? For once, not very much. I mean, maybe if someone gives me a clearer definition of this strip, then perhaps in the next one I could explain it more. The next one or the one after that. I don't know. But I do admit, though, it does suck, though, in what grade is she in by then? Ah, uh, she was like, what? When the strip began, she was like six months, about six months or something. So, 
this has been about nine, so she's about maybe nine here, roughly, eight and a half, roughly nine, so she is in elementary school, yeah, kids in elementary school, especially around third or fourth grade, can be like that, I mean, from what I've heard, as I said, when I was in elementary school, I was, as I said, on a special program, and I wasn't around a lot of the classmates, so... And the ones that I was around had special needs, in a sense, like myself. So we were, we were all a little bit different in our, like, behavior. So, and a natural behavior for a student without a disability, I mean, I as I've heard, it's probably about natural. I've never participated in that type of situation. Like, I've always been either by myself or with the three people that were always with me because we became we were close friends in elementary school because we had to spend a lot of time together we were in a you know we had a special you know a teacher like we weren't in special ed but we had an assistant that we all shared so, so I wasn't around enough of the other classmates or participated in any of those type of situations I was never really included so much Unless it was in a class activity that I they that they were forced to include me in, so yeah, I know that does sound kind of sad. Like I can understand that, but but as I'm older now, I can maybe kind of see how this is a normal occurrence in middle elementary school, mid elementary school, and that you're always singled out if you're the one that doesn't meet like the requirements. But again, I still don't understand the two days after needed punchline part of the punchline. Like, I can understand that she didn't have a smart answer to the guy at that time, right? And maybe it really was two days. Maybe she just finally thought of something too late, maybe. And if that's the case, then great, I finally get it. Just please, someone who's read this, that with a better understanding, like, of social cues and the strip... This, this particular strip, let me know. Again, it's very confusing. But yeah, guys, that was number, what, 42 of For Better or For Worse vlog. And if you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and like what you see, please subscribe. It helps this channel a lot. Don't forget to hit the bell notification so you'll know when new videos are coming out. And I will see you guys in my next video.